Hi, this is Amber of Brown Bombshell Beauty. Today I'm going to do a video on how to select and apply foundation. So, starting with a clean face, I don't have any foundation or anything on like that. And what you want to do is find the three closest shades to your skin tone. So I've got three foundations here, one that I already know matches and a couple that are rejects, but just for demonstration purposes. So what you're going to do is you're going to take three shades that come the closest to your skin tone and you're going to make three stripes with each color to, on your jawline here to see which one matches the best. So let's start with the first one. This one is from L'Oreal's True Match in case you're wanting to know. The shade is N8 Cappuccino. So I'm just going to take a little bit here. Make a, a line there of the foundation. We can already see that that one is a little too yellow. So then we're going to move on to the second shade. And you can do this at any um, cosmetics counter, at Sephora, anywhere like that. So you can find your right shade. It's a little bit harder in the drugstore because they don't let you open and test them in most cases. But this is the the way that you're going to want to do it. So now I'm going to try a second foundation and this is Iman in Earth One. That one looks a little better. And then the last one is from Flirt Cosmetics in Eleven Golden Goddess. So I'm going to take this one and make a line as well. See which one matches the best. It looks like in the middle one, it's kind of hard for me to tell I don't have my glasses on, <laughs> um, matches. You're going to want to go with the one that seems to disappear into your skin. So let's go on ahead and go with that second shade. That one seemed to match the best. At least it looks like it did. Can't really tell. Should have worn my contacts. Um, okay. So, once you found your great shade, now you're going to want to move into actually applying it to your, to your face. Now, I'm going to be using a stick today, but this applies the same for a stick, a liquid, a compact, a powder foundation. Same application basically applies. So you got your foundation here. What I like to do is start in the middle of the face and work outwards. So I'm going to start here in the T-zone in the forehead and come down to the nose, hit the chin, and then since we've got some under eye circles going on, I'm going to want to get that as well. And so what you're going to do is take it and blend it outwards. You can use your fingers. Um, you can also use a sponge. I personally don't care for sponges. I feel as though they absorb all the makeup and it never gets onto your face really and it creates a lot of waste because what should have been going on your face is being sucked up by the sponge. And then you're just going to want to work it outwards. It's a little bit harder with the cream, so I'm probably going to want to apply some to the cheek to blend out. I'm just using a foundation brush from Sephora, number 47. And so once you've done that, you look and you see if there are any spots that you want to cover up. Got some there on the cheek I want to do. So let's blend that outwards and upward. I know it looks like I'm being a little heavy handed and actually I am. I'm just trying to get it in as 
freeze a little bit here. Blend it under the eye. Bring it up in here. Make sure it's got it blended in well. Now some foundations don't require that you put on something to set it, and some do. This is a pretty mattifying to start with foundation, but we're going to set it anyway. I'm going to set it, if I can get some out, with some Iman loose powder, or semi-loose powder, you can see here. looks. And this is Earth Medium. So what you're going to do is start with the same principle. Take your nice big powder brush. This one is from Sonia Kashuk, which is a makeup artist who has a line of really, really great brushes at Target. Or Target. I prefer to call it. So you're going to start just the same in the T-zone, working it downwards this time. Because that's the area where your skin tends to get oily first and the most. And then take whatever you've got left over. You don't really need to dip back into the product and apply it on the cheek area. And there you have it. Now don't just leave it like this. Once you put your foundation on, please put on some blush so you don't look dead. Please. Yes. So that's it. You just take those three colors. Um, you can do it yourself or you can have the clerk at the store, the salesperson, help you find your shades that you can try out. Um, find those three shades. Work those out, see which one looks the best and seems to disappear into your skin. Once you have found your great shade, just remember, apply it, and like you can just use little dots down the middle of your face, and then blend it outwards. And then when you're setting it with your powder, again, in the T-zone, and then brushing out into the cheek area. And that's it. It's as simple as that. You can do it super, super fast, super easy. Foundation, it's not as intimidating or as scary as um, some people may think it is. You just got to give it a try. And it really helps you to even out your skin tone and look really, really gorgeous because you don't want to put on any other makeup, any blush or eyeshadow or anything like that, and then not have a finished face. It just does not look good. So even if it's something sheer, like a tinted moisturizer, um, Cover Girls Queen, the liquid foundation is really sheer and really, really natural looking. If you just want something that's like a tinted moisturizer, I think that's really fantastic for that. Um, so just give it a try. Um, let me know what you thought if you've tried this out and how it worked for you in the comments. And I'll see you at the next video, which will be how to create a natural looking face for a day. All right, see you then. Bye-bye.